But look at that. We are here doing the lifestyle content that you, the people, deserve. What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm AJ Monroe. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've been here before, what have you done to change your life? So today, we're not talking about beards. We're not doing some weird exercise video. Today, we're talking about lifestyle. Today, we're talking about lifestyle. Today, we are here to get your life right, you know? Today, we are actually talking about lifestyle, okay? So we've been talking about a beard. I guess that was just me getting used to the camera that was that's what happened. That's why I made four thick Thursdays uh, without making anything else except for a yoga video. Uh, that I didn't. That was weird. But if that didn't make you laugh, you're weird. Cause that was funny. Anyways, let's get on to the video. This video was supposed to start out as like five things. Uh, it's five small things that you can do in your everyday life to kind of balance yourself out, make yourself more well-rounded and just kind of like feel better as a person. But it ended up as I like kept writing things, it's seven. It is seven things that you can do in your everyday life to become a happier person because that's kind of what we're about, right? I'm oh, so aggressive. Well, we're about better than ourselves. What's up? Anyway, so I came up with seven things that I have been doing in my own life that I kind of think that everyone else should carry over into theirs because that's that's what this YouTube channel is about, me telling you that I do things and that I'm better than you and that you should do them. Alright, so number one, wake up early. So I've actually uh, been waking up early for a couple of months now, 7 o'clock in the morning. I wake up and I just kind of lay there and do 30 minutes of meditation and I think that it kind of like helps me as a person when I wake up early just because I can kind of like get my thoughts together and really think about what I'm doing for that day. Everything is strategic. Everything is thought out and planned when I get a chance to wake up early and really like think about what I'm going to do. Not only that, but I also get a chance to go on a run, make breakfast, get my shower early. I am pretty much done with my morning routine by 10 o'clock and that's when most people are waking up nowadays. And I call my best friend every day at like 12, it's uh, like 9 where he is and he's like always in bed and he's like, oh, I need to get up and take my dog out. And I'm like, you should live with me because your dog would have been out uh, several hours ago with me and you wouldn't have had to worry about that. You could have got your day started already. I do feel as if I have a lot more time to do things throughout the day. Not that I do them because it's Tuesday. Uh, this video is supposed to go out tomorrow and I'm just starting on it. But that's neither here nor there. Don't judge me. You got the video. But waking up earlier has definitely helped me. If not anything, just kind of like get up and like be better for my day. You know, when I was waking up at like 9, 10 o'clock, I was up and I was up relatively early. I made it before 12 o'clock. I was up during the morning time. You could say good morning to me. So that's what was important to me. But I also kind of felt like as soon as I woke up, it was almost lunchtime. And so I had a bunch of things to do just to kind of complete my morning, just so I could make it to the rest of my day. And now that I'm waking up at seven o'clock, I just feel like I have tons of more time to do a whole lot more things. And that's really helped me. So it's wake, wake up early, like just a little bit earlier. I'm actually gonna do a video on morning routines where I'll kind of like talk a little bit more about how to start waking up earlier. Because cold turkey, that, that's not it. No one's gonna start setting their alarm one day and then roll out of bed at seven o'clock in the morning and they're gonna be fine. Like that's, that's not how our body works. Like you've been waking up at 12, you wanna keep waking up at 12. So let's find a healthy way to wake up at seven because you can't keep waking up at 12. It's not productive. Um, and so like, let's just kind of find a healthier way to do those things. Number two on that list is let go slash apologize. There were going to be two different ones, but as I already told you, I have way too many and they kind of like coincide with each other. Letting go is truly important just kind of for your mental health. A lot of people definitely hold grudges for absolutely no reason. Like someone was talking about you, so what? Like. If you still got a direct deposit, you know, if your mama still loves you, who cares? Let it go. Like it's, like, it's not important in the grand scheme of things. It's not stopping any bags. So, who cares? Let it go. It, it's not serving you. Uh, it is not helping you. Unless, wait, unless you're one of those people who's like fueled by spite, keep that, you know? Don't let me tell you 
you're gonna be successful with that spite, you know? Scorpio. But if you're not one of those people, let it go. Thinking about it, harboring on it, when you see that person on social media, getting angry about a situation that is just, doesn't matter, it just, it's not right, it doesn't seem right. And then apologize, apologize. It's, I wanted to touch on forgive and forget, you know, like that's, that goes with apologizing and letting it go. Forgiving is for your own energy. Knowing that like you can go out and say for real that you don't have any beef with anybody. Uh, you can go, you can tweet in the morning, you can wake up and be like, good morning. If you got beef with me, it's one-sided because I don't care, you know? And like truly feel that way. Truly forgive people who have hurt you in the past. Truly forgive people who were toxic in your life because you deserve it, you know? And people are often like, I forgive you, but I won't forget, you know? That's not what that means, you know? It kind of, forget means let that go in order for you to move on in your life, able to make decisions without that negative attachment in your mindset. So like, Forgetting that someone did you wrong once is just kind of like allowing yourself to freely move on with 100% love and, you know, experience life without being jilted and like uncomfortable. Number three, I'm gonna keep saying it. Eat some fruits and vegetables, all right? I think I said this in like the first thick Thursday. It's like your mother told you this since you were a child. Like eat your fruits and vegetables. Um, you're grown now, it helps your body, it helps your hair flourish, because you know, even though we're not really doing Thick Thursdays like that, we still care about the way our beard looks, we care that our hair is growing healthy and shining, you know? So, eat your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I was going to say something, but no one, no one wants to talk about that. So, it's kind of easy, I'm not saying go vegan, I'm not saying go vegetarian, what I'm saying is um, once in a while replace the burger with a salad, you know, for morning time instead of eating cereal and toast and a bagel or eggs and chorizo, eat a fruit bowl instead and have a, a couple of oats with it, you know, like have a healthier um, choose a couple healthier options every once in a while just because you'll thank you later in life, you know, when your bowel system is flourishing and, you know, you're not really having issues with those other parts of your body that really need those nourishments. You are going to thank yourself for having eaten those fruits and vegetables. So, like, just get on it. Just, like, do it. Um, sauteed potatoes, fantastic. I love sauteed eggplants. I think I'll just say that, like, eight more times in these videos that you should eat sauteed eggplants and squash because they're fantastic. Um, there are so many other fruits, vegetables out there. I told you jackfruit, dragon fruit, like all of those things. You can use jackfruit for like literally anything. You can make pulled pork with it. Obviously it'll be vegan, but like you can make pulled pork with it. There are so many options out there. Don't have a lazy palate and say that you only like steak and steak fried chicken because you're grown. Eat something else. Eat something healthy for yourself. This next one's gonna be controversial. I don't care. Shower daily. Um, a lot of people sacrifice showering every day, so they have a little bit of extra time. So maybe like uh, people aren't showering in the morning because they want to have that extra time to sleep in, and so they don't have to get ready a little bit more. People are using that time instead of showering to sleep in to get a little bit more time before work or before they have to get up and like handle whatever you guys have to handle. We're, we're sacrificing showers and then maybe you have a packed schedule and so it just kind of makes more sense that you instead of taking a shower just go ahead and get get dressed, spritz yourself with something, make sure you have on some deodorant. That works, right? You know? No, it doesn't. People still smell you. Um, a, Fragrances and deodorants, like a, a bird bath, that stuff, it's not, it's not a substitute for a shower, you know? Um, so again, that comes with like waking up early. So wake up early so you have the extra time to take that shower so you can be presentable to the world, you know? The world. 
people are gonna see you. But people are gonna smell you, you know? Uh, how many times have you like skipped taking a shower because you know, oh me and my friends wanna go to lunch or something, me and my friends wanna hang out, my friends, we got a kickback to go to, and you spend the whole time out with your friends worrying about the fact that you stink because you didn't take a shower. Just take a shower every day and you won't have to worry about those things. You'll smell better, you'll feel better, um, taking a shower every day helps strengthen your immune systems, help relieve um, aches and pains in the body. What else does it do? It does something else. I have it in my notes. I have asthma, and so this one's perfect for me. Uh, it helps you breathe better. And last and not least, because I've been saying this on Thick Thursday, it helps blood flow. So shower every day because it helps your blood flow. And <clears throat> take your niacin, help you be your flourish. I, I'm just not going to let Thick Thursdays go. As you heard it here. I'm just gonna mention Thick Thursdays all the time. So shower daily, cause like, I don't wanna smell you. Like, you go home, you sit in your room, you smell you, I don't wanna smell you. And I'm pretty sure your friends don't wanna smell you either. So shower every day. And I promise if you shower every day, you wanna get dressed every day, cause you look good, you smell good, you know? D Rico Suave, uh, a part of this channel. You know, when you're done with this, when you like, when we're finished, when we're finished here, you should have a honey. Or, or a man, you know, we flown that way in this, on this channel. You should have somebody who wants you to shower every day. And you'll already be doing that. So, you, women, men, you're welcome. This next one's actually like a personal recommendation of mine. Like, I do it every day. Um, I think everyone in the world should do it every day solely because, like, it helps meditate. Five. 30 minutes a day, I, some Buddhist monks will meditate while they talk to you. So you can, you can do it at any point in the day. Take a moment. Meditation is really just like taking a second to just be with yourself, commune with yourself, ask yourself some hard questions and figure out those answers to them by yourself because that's what meditation is. Or just take the time to be quiet. You know, some of you talk too much, so shut up. But either way, meditate. It definitely brings clarity. While I meditate, I talk to myself. Sometimes I will just meditate and write a letter. I will meditate and write music or poetry. I will write a short story. No one's to tell you how to meditate. Uh, no one's to tell you how to be by yourself or be with yourself or commune with yourself. So just figure out what that is for you and take a couple of minutes every day and meditate. Meditate, meditate. Can I do that? I don't care. I'm guilty. I don't do this enough. So with all the stuff I've had going on, especially moving into a new home, decorating a new home, getting into YouTube, coronavirus, you know, like so much, so much. I haven't been making time for my friends and family. I'll schedule some time for them, definitely. This channel is about our growth, us becoming better people, doing better things in life, and really feeling ourselves and experiencing ourselves. And so I think with that, I think we can, we can grow so much that we kind of put everything and everyone to the wayside, and it kind of becomes about us and our growth and what we're doing and what's going on in our life. And so I think it's so important to take maybe like three hours, Let's say three hours every other week. I'm not gonna tell you how to hang out with the family. But do, schedule some time. Get yourself a planner, a calendar, or, you know, everyone has a calendar on their phone now. Everyone, Google hands them out for free. And so, schedule a little bit of time to hang out with your mom, go to lunch with your dad, uh, see your sisters or your brothers. Uh, if you are that close with your cousins like I am, uh, Zoom, Skype calls with them, anything works. Just make sure you're communing with the people that you love that they know that you love them and you know that's always your support system in this growth everything that we're doing people will come and go but you know your family those friends that are close to you they're always going to be here they're always going to want to support you and they're always going to love you so make time for them hang out with them call them tell your mommy you love them last but not least this one's going to maybe take you more than a day um if you don't already have one if you do already have one congratulations you're ahead of the pack um find a hobby dive into your hobby especially like with coronavirus and stuff going on it's kind of difficult for everyone to deal you know we are getting used to a new normal we are getting used to staying inside working at home a lot of us are getting used to new outlets that are stressful 
get a hobby, find something that you love to do, something that you that will take you away to your own personal heavenscape for like three hours a week. Three, three hours, I want everyone to do everything for three hours, just find three hours a week to do your stuff. Find a hobby, find something that you love, find something that you can get into. I love photography, I love yoga, I don't know if you can really call yoga a hobby. I'm gonna call it a hobby, but I, I like yoga. Um, and so like these are things that I think that I can personally put more time, effort, and energy into like really things that I love, things that take me away from where we are currently and help me kind of express myself in a different way where I am not frustrated or angry about the things around me. And I think that's a lot of the time where our frustration comes from is because we don't have that outlet. I think as adults, I think as we are finding out what we are meant for in life, as we are going into our nine to five jobs or your creative outlets that are taking up so much time, we forget that like this stuff is not making us happy truly, um, and that we still need things like hobbies. We need things like photography or ceramics. We need things like frisbee golf, um, tennis, yoga. We need things like music. Find your instrument. If you love to write poetry, go to uh, an open mic night. Just find something to do that really makes you happy because it's rough out here, y'all. But either way, I hope, I, I feel like a part of that was like me chastising you into like being better people, but like, so these are seven things um, that you can start doing tomorrow for the most, there's six things that you can start doing tomorrow, and one thing that you can start researching tomorrow, so um, I, I love these. A actively finding yourself is something that I love to do, and so I hope that I can guide you guys to find yourself. These are really seven things that you can kind of like, put on a wall when you wake up, you read them in the morning, find your own seven things that make you a better person. If that helps you, if it makes you feel more comfortable, find seven things that you think that you would like to start doing. Small things, we're not talking about like completely changing your life overnight. We're talking about subtly getting better over time, um, doing things that we need to be doing to really grow into the persons that we need to be. I'm AJ Monroe. This has actually been a lifestyle video. We are moving on from beards. You have another week to figure out what you were going to do better in your life until I come out with another lifestyle video. I'm going to see y'all later.